I'm going to start the recording. Hey, Liz, how are you? I'm fine, Joseph. How are you doing? Great. Well, this, guys, this is Joseph Petrie from The Kitchen Table Coaching. And Liz, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Liz McNeil. I'm a realtor and downsizing coach and founder of the Houston Senior Living Series. Wow. Okay. What kind of things do y'all just, well, first of all, I want to acknowledge you for something. I want to acknowledge you for the courage to create videos, <laughs> whether, whether you'd like to do it or not, but it's like, it is amazing. I think people would rather have the coronavirus and be in an intensive care unit than to do a video because they feel so challenged by it. Yeah, most people do. It's not comfortable. You definitely have to step out of your comfort zone. After a while, then you get more comfortable with it. But Exactly. It's just doing the first thing, right? Right. So, so tell me about a little bit about the, sem the services that you offer and what's your seminar going to be about? Uh, the seminars are um, usually held at a library once a month. And then I do other ones around town when I'm invited as a guest speaker. But it's uh, we discuss all of the different challenges that seniors face when they're making decisions about late in life moves or how to navigate the system and et cetera. I'm just a resource and provide them with additional information and where they can find answers. Right. So now this is causing you to step outside your comfort zone in your, the, the quote box <laughs> to come up with another way to communicate with people, correct? Yes, definitely. I do, I do video emails constantly, I, that, that's a norm for me. So I don't mind this prospect of it or aspect of it, but I don't like this creating these videos. It, it, it's uh, live, live videos, that's what it is. It's the live part of it that I don't like, the live part of it. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to the dead part of it? Well, as opposed to the part where I can, I can delete and redo and delete and redo and delete and redo. So you can do do-overs when you're not doing live. Well, but you can also not send them out either. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> so how long have you been in real estate? Uh, five years. And what made you take this, this path of senior, working with seniors and downsizing? Oh, I had uh, just gotten into real estate and was looking for my niche, where was my area, what was it going to be, and I had a, uh, have a friend who is the director of a, the aging ministry for the Galveston-Houston Archdiocese, which is huge. It's the Catholic Diocese, and it's 11 counties, and you know, a million people, and she heads that up, and she started talking to me, saying that she never has anybody to help seniors with real estate. And what, uh, so what, what services do y'all offer then? Oh, as a resource, uh, you know, I'd say I'm a downsizing coach. I help them start the process, start to look through where they want to go, what do they want to do, do they want to stay at home, or do they want to move someplace else where they're safer and they have more comfort, and help them in that process. I connect them with a senior move manager who does all the moving for them, and um, if they need elder attorney, if they need to do, uh, work on their estate planning, and they need to get their documents in order, I refer them to a elder attorney just on and on I have a wealth of resources All right so do people uh, so in real estate we get paid for a commit by commission the right. sale of the house so there's that aspect of it then I'm assuming that you have a a la carte menu that people could choose from for different services that they would pay you for sure I do because typically what happens is that I get paid at the end when we sell their home but if that's not going to be the case, then I do right, for the different services. If it's a consultation, if it's going through the process, if it's looking at their options, helping them do that, then yes, I have a, a a la carte fees that I charge for that. Wow. So how do people get in touch with you, Liz? You can get in touch with me anytime at 713-826-2731 and Liz McNeil, that's L-I-Z-M-C-N-E-E-L at kw.com. Got it. Well, thank you so much. And I just, you know, we, everything is, you know, we, we've been asked to turn it a 360 degree angle here and reinvent ourselves. And um, so I'm, I'm glad to see that I have a kindred spirit out there that's willing to look at opening up to possibilities, a way to reach out to people. I consulted a client 
uh, his partner last night and he and she both had questions and they thought because interest rates were zero that they didn't have to pay <laughs> they didn't have to pay interest on their house their mortgage payment number one and number two i um uh, i said well the first thing we need to do is establish your buying power and in that that was like what are you talking about i said well we need to know before we go out looking what you you have the power to buy based on your credit score work history and things like that so it was great to be able to do that conference number one but number two they said well we're not ready for a realtor yet i said actually you are and uh, of course there's an a la carte menu for my service as well but then ultimately we do get paid with a commission at the end and of course that's all negotiable it's not negotiable but the fees and things like that definitely there are ways to to work with people on that so anyway i just wanted to reach out and touch base with you and uh, check in and i'm so glad i did well thank you so much joseph it's just been a pleasure as always and you're going to be online tomorrow afternoon with who oh, tomorrow morning at, I plan to be on at nine, but uh, with Jennifer Salazar, she's with the Better Business Bureau Foundation, and they work daily with seniors that have been put in very, very difficult situations because of scams, and they help them. And so the new scam right now, the one that's the biggest one right now is the census scam, oh, where really? people try to call seniors or call anybody, but seniors are the ones that really get mostly affected by it and they try to tell them that they have to pay and charge them and etc. I'm sure there's going to be one that's going around soon for the virus. There's going to be some call. Oh, so, yeah. we know. We've all heard of the ones where somebody calls and says, hey grandma, I'm in jail. Can you give me $500? I had two clients, two clients that actually got those calls. So they're, they're very, very um, rampant. They run through the whole country regularly. Yeah, I got a. I sent a message to my friends in Italy last night, and they have to. Uh, they only can go out for essential items, and they have to show documentation that they are clear, and they are they're eligible to walk around and do those certain things. And their fines in putting people in jail in Italy. Oh, wow. breaking these regulations and I thought well that'd be a good way to be taken care of well that's true <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't know you might not get that good of care if you're if you're in jail <laughs> I know but we got to laugh about this or we're just gonna go nuts we definitely do have to laugh about it and one of the biggest scams just real quickly is um, is DNA testing and a lot of people go to these senior uh, seminars and and go into senior communities and say let me swab your cheek and that Medicare will pay for your test and it's not right. true it's a scam and it's Medicare fraud and what happens is that um, some of them slip through and Medicare does pay for them but the ones that Medicare denies and says no it can only be ordered in a doctor's office for a specific illness Right. And then the medical companies, companies are going back to those seniors and saying, well, Medicare didn't pay for it, so you owe us $10,000. You got to cough it up. Yeah. So, well, no, the, the, that's what the Better Business Bureau does. They help with that. Good. Well, it was good talking to you, and I hope we'll stay in touch. Okay. Peace out. Yep. To you too, dear. Bye. All right. Bye.